This is Gene Key, KTTT Texas News. KHOU.com reports a mother accused of slitting her five-year-old's throat early Saturday said she wanted to release the demons from his body. According to the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office, Deputy Octavia Spurlock is charged with attempted capital murder. Magnolia Police said the Montgomery County Sheriff's Office responded to a welfare check of a child shortly after midnight. The child's father told police he believed his son was dead inside a residence. Authorities found the five-year-old Michael Spurlock covered in blood on the floor of the small mobile home. The child had multiple lacerations to his throat, which had been slit from side to side. He also had a severe head injury and his chest was possibly crushed. Authorities said the boy's mother admitted to stomping him in the face and chest area, then using a large kitchen knife to cut his throat. Michael was rushed to a landing zone for a life flight helicopter. He was then airlifted to Memorial Hermann Hospital in critical condition. Spurlock remains in the Montgomery County Jail while her son is fighting for his life. KVUE.com reports the Texas Attorney General's Office is suing the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services to challenge the decision to stop federal funding for Texas Women's Health Program. The Obama administration is not giving federal funding to the program because state law bars state funding for clinics affiliated with abortion providers. The Medicare program covers 90% of the cost of birth control, health screening, and family exams. Some 130,000 low-income women qualify. Governor Rick Perry is telling state officials to find funding for the program without federal support. KHOU.com reports a 7-year-old boy was struck and killed, his brother critically injured by a suspected drunk driver in southwest Houston late Saturday. Jesus Ordinez and his 4-year-old brother were grilling with their dad on the front porch at their town park apartments at Harwin and Parkfront. A driver heading westbound on Harwin lost control, crossed over the median into eastbound lanes, then slammed into the victims and through the apartment door. Jesus was rushed to Southwest Memorial Hospital where he died from his injuries. His younger brother was taken to Memorial Hermann Hospital with burns over 40% of his body. The driver, 27-year-old Luis Hector Lopez Rodriguez, wasn't hurt, but police took him to a hospital for blood alcohol test. He is now charged with intoxication, manslaughter, and intoxication assault. Lopez Rodriguez has at least one prior DWI charge, according to court records. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.